Hi guys, welcome back to Honest Straightforward Reviews. Today I am super excited to bring to you guys a physical comparison between two of PNY's iteration of the 4080 cards. So these are the two cards. So one is the Verto Triple Fan and it's also called a XLR8 for some reason on my system through all the software. So PNY actually calls this the XLR8 Verto and this one is called the XLR8 Gaming OC RGB. So that's a mouthful. I wish they just called it OC and non-OC, you know? So let's get this comparison underway. Now, if you want to see the proper unboxing of these, they'll be on my channel. I'll try and remember to link him up here, but if I haven't, just please go through my channel and you can find them. Now, straight away, if you go exactly where this one starts, you will be, you, you'll be able to see that this is a tiny, a tiny bit shorter. So if you've got a case that limits how much length you can have, so the XLR8, the RGB version, the one in the bottom, that is a bit shorter than the Verto, all right? Looking side on between the two cards, you can clearly see that the XLR8 is a quite a bit chunkier so it's a bit bigger so clockwise this is the higher clocked version with rgbs this is the very basic it's more of a same sort of card as a founder's edition 4080 whereas this is overclocked so this is pny's version of eros master for gigabyte gaming x trio for msi and rogue strigs for azus so they, this is their attempt at it so here You've got RGBs here, but that's it for this guy. And other than that, the layout is exactly the same in, in the PCB, but uh, apart from this, the, these, the fan uh, connectors are a bit closer together, and there's also a backplate. Now, uh, and it's thicker as well. Now, in regards to the card, it's again a three, three slot card. So this is a three slot card as well. It actually requires you to remove three slots on your case and screw them in. Looking at the side, I'm happy to announce that both of them have a perforated grill, which is fantastic to vent out out of your case because this will sit behind your case and it'll vent out quite a bit of air through here as well. There's plenty of ventilation through the sides. Looking at the bottom, there is also again quite a bit of ventilation here. That's fantastic on the XLR8 to see all this ventilation happening. On the Verto, there's not much, but it's still better than having absolutely no air ventilation like I've seen on some cards, which is very, very disappointing knowing what that can do. Now, the main difference in the back you'll see is the X bracket. So this has an X bracket, whereas this guy does not. So that's the main difference. It's fantastic to see that it has a back opening as well through the back plate. The back plate is mostly for supporting the card's PCB and structure. Uh, however, it's also good to have some perforation, some holes to let the air come out through here as well. And again, we see that here, but with a bit more design. So the PNY, the RGB version, the XLR8 gaming, this has a bit of a premium feel to it. To be honest, it, it everything feels a bit polished off. It's matte. This is this feels a bit shiny. It's more polished off here and everything like that. It's still plastic. All all of this is all plastic again between the both of them. But as you can see, even the plastic is a tiny bit more subtle between the uh, noise. It's, it's more hollow, cheap, and it feels a bit more like that. But in, in terms of the fin, it, there's a lot more work being done on the fin with the XLR8. Looking at this end of the card, on the other side of the card, compared to the, for those of you listening to the audio, the other side of the card, opposite to the 
connection, the display port and HDMI connection. You have no ventilation on the Verto, whereas the XLR8 has a tiny bit of ventilation going through here, but not much. But it's got a metal feel to it, whereas this guy has not. So that's basically it. Another interesting little thing that I noticed that is not much of a, not much to notice. All the fans, as you can see, the blades are connecting, connected to each other, okay, on the XLR8 version. And the same thing is happening here, but the fans do have that cheaper look. Uh, the only fan that I've seen is quite different is the Aeros Master fan, which has two blades connected, then a gap, then two blades connected, gap, two blades connected, which is quite different. Again, with the blades, they all run in the same direction for the XLR8, so they have all three of the fans running that way, whereas on the Verto, the middle fan runs opposite and gives a bit of more, I guess, push to it. So that's nice to see and a bit disappointing that the XLR8 doesn't have it. Okay, guys, that's basically it. Thank you for watching this comparison physically. Please do comment below and let me know what other comparisons you'd like to see. I've got plenty of physical comparisons if you're interested in any. And also let me know if you guys would like me to review both cards, put them up against each other and see what sort of numbers I see. All right, thank you for watching it to the end. Remember, this is unbiased. I fund all of this. This cost $2,000. This cost about 18 and a half hundred dollars just between these i've nearly spent four thousand dollars so if you appreciate that please do subscribe please do super thanks it gets to me and please do watch more videos and spread the love around thank you for watching it to the end take good care bye bye